right here. I'm going to give you an example of two that I always use. One's called the All-in-One SEO plugin, which helps your blog be search engine friendly. And the other one is called Auto Hyperlink URLs. What that does is that when you type in a URL in your post, it automatically links it so that it's clickable. Oh, I gave you links to those two in the resources document, so all you have to do is download them to your computer and then upload them into the plugin directory. And I'll show you how to do that now. After you've downloaded your plugins, you need to go to your cPanel, then go to File Manager, and then Public HTML or wherever your web docs are on your server, then to where you installed your blog. In this case, is blog. Then you need to go into wp-content and then you need to go into plugins. Now click on upload files and now we're going to go to the location on our computer where we downloaded the plugins and we're going to upload them. So just click browse and then grab the zip file and grab the other zip file and click upload. Now once they're uploaded just click on them one at a time and then extract click on the other one, click extract, and then delete them just by clicking on them and then click delete file, and delete the other zip file. Now let's go back to our blog and then go back to plugins again. And you'll see that our plugins are now, sh are now showing in here. So we just click on Activate, Auto Hyperlink URLs, and we'll activate all in one SEO pack. Procedure is the same for any plugins you want to install. You just upload them like I showed you there, activate them here, and then you'll have to set the settings on your blog. So we're going to either set these in Options or in Manage, and it depends on the plugin as to where it put it. So both of these ended up under Settings. So first, let's go into Auto Hyperlink. Now down here, you can pick which type of hyperlinks you want to be activated. Then here you can activate the No Follow tag if you want. What that means, if you have click on this is that the search engines will not follow that link and then you can have what text you want to show before and after truncation down here you can add domain extensions if they're not one of the default ones as you can see it already has .com, .org, .net and all of these ones built in but if you're using a different one that you don't see here you can put it here and it will also recognize that as a hyperlink Hyperlink mode of truncation. If you leave it at zero, it will put the whole URL in. If you put it at one, it will just show the host name. And if you use a value greater than 10, that's how many characters it'll show. If you're satisfied with everything there, just click Save Changes, and that one's all set to go. All in one SEO. This is where you can actually add the meta tags which are the tags that help your blog be seen and ranked by the search engine a little better. So you have all of these options that you can set in here and you would have seen all these before if you've spent any time creating your own sites. So here we have our home title page, our home description, and our home keywords comma separated. Down here it shows us our title format so it's going to be the post title and then the blog title after it with a pipe in between page title format category title format archive title format tag title format search title format all of these are set to these defaults and you can change them if you want your 404 tag you can tell if you want to use the categories as keywords if you want to use no index for categories in other words they're not going to show up in the search engines. Same with archives, tag archives, 
auto-generated descriptions. So you have all these things you can set in here. And once you're satisfied with any changes you make in here, just click Update Options. We now have some plugins activated and installed. The next thing we're going to go over is how to change the look of our site by uploading themes.